up guys, SJ here back with another video and yes I am back today at Austin, Texas. It is so good to be back um, and um, I didn't post a vlog yesterday because first of all I was exhausted and second of all our AC stopped working yesterday for some reason and we had to reset the power and uh, resetting power means resetting the Wi-Fi and uh, our Wi-Fi was down yesterday and I didn't have a video today, but to make up for that, I am back with the video a lot of you guys anticipated, and it is going to be a base review video, and in this video, basically, I'm just going to be doing some base reviews. Uh, in my previous No Jamming series episode, my most recent one, uh, you, I asked that you guys uh, ask uh, to get your base review, to leave all your details down below. Um, I did, I am going to review every single one of, one of you guys that did comment, except for a few of you guys. So, the first guy I can't review is Dazos, because for some reason, you didn't tell me your clan or any other information, right, except for the fact that your class username was Dazos, so I can't review your base, and King Aiden on Clash of Clans, I don't know what your, um, what's that called, I don't know what your, uh, YouTube name is, uh, I can't find your clan, Bacon Patrol, I can't find that, I can't find your, the exact clan you named. But everybody else, I think I have three people that I'm going to be doing some base reviews of. So the first guy is Kyle Stupid Jew 3 uh, His he goes by Kyle Maple on YouTube, so he's going to be the first base I'm going to be reviewing. Uh, so, let's get into the base, let's bring up his base right here. So, um, his base is, um, so it looks like Kyle, the first thing I notice is that you are farming sort of so I see let's, uh, let's change this color to a red sort of and uh, so I see that you are um, trying to farm but this isn't even a hybrid base but you're trying to make a hybrid base it looks like so what I think you should do is your town hall right here it is defended by some defenses right here and I don't know if, if you're trying to do a farming base because if you want to farm I would move the town hall like somewhere like over here sort of um, right there and uh, the reason is because if you're gonna farm you really want to farm hard and you want to make sure that your town hall is not in the range of any defense and the reason being is because if your town hall is in the range of defense what people will do only the people that actually want to raise you and destroy your base will raise you but let's say your town hall was like in this corner right here then a lot of people will just attack the town hall and end the battle and that's going to give you a 12 hour shield and most likely even if your farming base is not very good people are only going to raid you um, in your on the town hall most of the time and I really do recommend putting your town hall there if you did intend to protect your town hall I recommend making um, a base with a town hall in the center um, but enough of that um, and uh, let's see what else is there another thing let's see let's try to see um what else there is um, also guys i did take a screenshot of these bases yesterday so if your uh base was changed right now but you're you this isn't your most recent base because i took a screenshot yesterday but anyways um and it sort of looks like your uh, air defenses are on the outside I am guessing that these two empty slots are hidden Teslas. I can't find those because um, I'm not in your clan, but I'm guessing those are hidden Teslas. Um, what I would do is, you know, I think I would use, I would uh, bring all these buildings sort of one inward, just all of these all one inward, right, like that, because it seems like your base is really spread out, but as you're going to farm, a lot of people are going to be barching against you. And your base is like a really barch-friendly barch base, I should say. So, just bring all these buildings, just one tile inward. That's what I really recommend. Just uh, bring, I'm not going to draw arrows for every single building, but you get what I'm saying. And uh, switch the color right here. And uh, let's go. So what? And then what you should do is all these walls on the outside that you use um, so that to cover up the holes I would use them to um, bring all these down and cover up this cannon right here that is what I would do uh, if I were you also um, 
your you see the thing about your base is that your air defenses and stuff are sort of in the outside I don't really r r like that either and also you, as you can see you have a bunch of these spare walls why don't you finish covering up this archer tower and um, this, this this archer tower and uh, just finish covering these defenses up you just have a lot of um, uncovered buildings that you really should cover um, your what I really recommend is when you're making a base, a lot of people go for, um, you know how their bases have these little areas where you can't put down those troops? Well, Kyle, it looks like you were aiming for that. However, what I would recommend doing is putting, moving these buildings inward again and uh, using the walls you previously used to fill in those holes to make little sections for... For your uh, buildings like that, and I think that's going to improve your base. Also, be sure to move your town hall uh, to this corner right here. But once you do make those um, modifications, I think your base is going to be uh, pretty good. And uh, yeah, so Kyle, that was your base reveal. Let's move on to the next one. The next base is naturally Beast. He, and my, he is in my clan, and uh, he is, uh, yeah, and uh, he asked me to review it, so I'm going to be reviewing it. And uh, again, in these base reviews, I'm not going to talk about your defenses being low level. I'm just going to talk about the base itself. And naturally, Beast, um, in the case of your um, base, let me first tell you some good good things you did. So uh, I think you did definitely did a great job. And let's get red right there. Uh, you, did, you, did, you definitely did a great job in putting your town hall um, in that corner right there where there is no defenses uh, right there and since you are in my clan I can see your hidden Tesla placements and all the kind of stuff um what I think I would do for you in this case is uh, your base I know you do have um, if you look here you do have these traps right here uh, which which is good but since your buildings are sort of really close together I think what I would do, this is sort of the opposite of what I told uh, Kyle to do. I think what I would do is move your pumps and buildings just one out. Just one tile out. All of that, including these barracks right here. One tile out. And I'll explain why. So, a lot of people are like, eh, if you move it one tile out, um, like people can get free percentages. But, even if you move it one tile out, uh, your cannons and uh, your... Your, sorry about that. Your cannons and your archer tower, their range is still going to be up to about here. And also your mortar is still going to be up to there. So your buildings are still going to be covered by your cannons, except since they're going to be a little bit more spread out, it's going to be harder for uh, your opponent or whoever's raiding you to just uh, put, put them right there. But in the case of the army camps, I would keep these army camps uh, situated still towards right here just keep the army camps so I would keep these army camps right there this is good uh, just keep the army camps but move the pumps and these barracks just by one tile out and also move be sure to move this uh, move this uh, builders hut one out um, let's see what else is there that I think you should improve um, Again, and also, uh, I'm not going to be like telling you to reorganize your base. I'm just going to do a base review on what minor improvements you can do on your base. Let, let's see what else. Um, your cannons are good. Uh, your clan castle is uh, well-centered and all that kind of good stuff. Um, you know, for a Town Hall 7 base, I think uh, your base is uh, pretty good. Uh, you're having your three mortars situated and uh, one thing that's really good about what Kyle did and what everyone should do, so I uh, really like how your mortars are in a triangle and your two air defenses are like that. Yeah, obviously you only have two air defenses. This is a really good, really, really good layout um, of, of your thing. I, um, I'm guessing that your defense is working out pretty well. Uh, one thing I do, one thing I just noticed right here is this little spot right here. Um, I would add a little bit more traps to that area. Um, let's try to get the eraser and uh, erase this part a little bit. So um, I would move one of like this. This area has a lot, so I would not all of them, but I would move some of these traps to this area. Maybe like two bombs or something, because 
people are gonna notice that, and what I'm guessing is people are gonna start wanting to raise you from here, because this area is really empty, and troops are already gonna want to go into this area, so I would just put like a trap there. Uh, spring trap would be good, and uh, yeah, maybe move this spring trap up there. I don't know, maybe you decide, but I just want some traps in there besides that. A uh, lonely air bomb, but besides that, naturally beast, um, you're base is uh pretty good and um, i'm a really big fan of your base good job making your base let's move on to the next one and the last one yeah and last but not least is uh waffles base if you waffles may sound familiar to you and that's because this is this is the base of arctic clash hd a uh, fellow youtuber that uh, is pretty cool so you guys should check out his channel just go ahead and search arctic clash hd right up there on the search box <laughs> But um, anyway, so let's go ahead and review his base. So, Waffles, aka Arctic Clash. Uh, the first thing I do notice is your base. Uh, I know it is a Tunnel Six, and I do respect that. So I'm not gonna make it. So, but these these places right here are a little bit vulnerable. I mean, people can really barge around your base like that. But one thing I really do like right here is uh, I like how your mortars are taking care of each you know little individual slot. And they're taking care, and they're in the range of all these vulnerable points, and that is really good. Uh, that is one thing I really like about your base. What well, the thing I would do um, is I would get uh, these buildings right here, and I would try. I would just move them out just by one because right here, um, your air defense is right here, and I don't think any air units. Your air defense has a big range. Okay, your air defense's range is about like i don't know about like here so what i would do i would move these buildings one out so that people attacking the barge strategy they are fairly away from your base and that gives some time for your archers to take care of the barge strategy and do that kind of good jazz and that that is one thing that i do notice um you definitely did a good job in terms of sort of making a symmetrical base um what, what do i know is Oh yeah, and one thing I would really, really recommend. This is this is really uh, what I do recommend. Uh, how about we? Now let's just leave the ink there. So I see that you're trophy pushing, and I do see that in your videos you're trying to get up high in leagues. When you are trophy pushing, do not make a hybrid base. Just trophy push hard or farm hard. It's either one. I really don't recommend the hybrid base. And your base is sort of a hybrid base, I should say. Um, so, as you can see, your gold storages are in the middle right there. How about, and actually, let's just go ahead and get rid of some ink right in the middle so that uh, I can draw some more. So, your base is a, is a trophy pushing base. So, I see, I see a really big, big mistake. Some, some people, you do this, but I'm just gonna uh, point this out real quick. So, your, your wizard towers, your splash damage units are in the outer area. Do not do that. You always want your splash damage areas uh, in the outer area. So what I would do is I would switch out these storage, this gold storage and this wizard tower right here um, like that. And that is going to help out a lot because since then you're uh, if saying that your wizard tower is swapped out with your gold storage, that is going to allow a perfect um, symmetrical sort of, what should I say, um, web like that, like sort of like it rectangle and that is going to be like a perfect perfect base your base layout is actually is actually very very good for a town hall six one of the best town hall six bases i've seen except for the fact that i want your splash damage placement in towards the central center i want it centralized and other than that i think your uh, thing is uh, pretty good uh your clan castle is uh fairly centered uh also since you have a town hall six it isn't going to be that um we'll just say you know upgraded and stuff but your town hall six definitely is uh pretty pretty good uh what else is there that i want to point out um in your base uh once you do switch those out uh, i actually i do notice that it isn't uh, let's see um whoa, 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 whoa. never mind so i think your base is uh arctic clash hd uh, aka waffles i think your base is uh Pretty good. I really do like your base, and uh, that is it. So, guys, uh, there you have it, guys. My very, very first base review. Uh, I know I was really rusty because, I mean, really, this was like my very first base review. 
you have to go easy on me for that. I mean, I hope I did good. Uh, this time I was only able to review three bases because um, some of you guys, there's some discrepancies between some people not telling me your clans, some clans I couldn't find. I apologize for that. Uh, people, especially King Aiden and uh, Dazos, I think that's his name. Oh, and if you're wondering what this thing is, it is actually a buggy pad right there. It's like, I don't know, it's like an, I think it's like an e-ink technology, like the Amazon Kindle, but, okay, it's, I don't think it's going to focus on that because it's focused on my face right here, but you can basically write all that kind of stuff and then just uh, erase it. The battery lasts forever, so, uh, really good. Anyways, guys, let's not get too off topic there. So this is my very first base review. I hope you guys did enjoy my very first base review. Uh, I was a little bit rusty because I really don't even know how to do base reviews, and, uh, yeah, guys, so thank you so much for watching. Um, if you do want your base review base to be featured, my plan is I'm going to be doing base reviews once a month, and I'm going to announce those in my No Jamming series. So basically, look forward to my No Jamming series. If you did like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. This was SJHD signing out. Peace!